That's all I can do is present the gospel to them the way I know how to, and what they do with it is up to them. Tonight, the son of Jim Baker and Tammy Faye has his own ministry, and it's definitely different. Plus, a World War II veteran... ...doses of punk rock and tattooed attitude. Well, tonight, Fox 5's Doug Richards joins us with a special report on who it's reaching and who's behind it all, the son of a preacher man. Doug? Well, this is about a ministry reaching a hard-to-reach audience, and it's about an a, a man named Jay Baker who learned the gospel from two of modern Christendom's most controversial figures. The music, the lighting, the young people, it all suggests the onset of something a little otherworldly, something pagan and edgy. Raise your hand if you need a Bible. But then the man they've all come to see speaks. Turn to Colossians 3. And Bible study now, begins. Christ is all that matters, and he lives in all of us. This shadowy place located in a halfway house in downtown Atlanta is the domain of a man named yeah, Jay Baker. Like and then like the church I go to now. Punk rock fanatic, former alcoholic, and like co-founder of a street ministry called Revolution. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And my brain will just go, bam, you know? I can't believe it. You know, I can't even believe how good God is. You might have some ministers might want to like be big golfers and they wear funny looking plaid pants. You know, <laughs> I like punk rock, so I have funny looking tattooed arms. It's definitely not traditional. This is my part of life. These are the people I hang out with. And the people are like-minded teens and 20-somethings. I bad experience with churches and things like that, Catholic school and everything. Some disenchanted with traditional religion but still seeking answers. I just feel loved here, like everybody's friends here. I don't think I'd have the beliefs I have right now if it wasn't for this place. And our generation needs to be a church of bridge builders. Let's pray. Now, it may seem unlikely that a tattoo-spangled guy like Jay Baker would become a street preacher, but it all becomes abundantly clear once you understand his lineage. He he Baker was born into the one-time royal family of televangelism, the only son of Jim and Tammy Baker. Virtually raised in a television studio, his parents called him Jamie on the air. He was an eyewitness to the rise and breathtaking fall of a ministry that ended in scandal and put his father in prison. Their family is, has been through so much, it's amazing that they're still standing. And to see them not just standing, but moving forward, it, it's really encouraging to me. It's just kind of an extension of my family, you know, and going out and doing things that I saw them do. You know, Christians, we've got a victory coming. Jay Baker remains intensely loyal to his parents. He still sees them as innovators, whose empire sometimes overshadowed their good works. And my parents confronted weird, strange topics that didn't seem normal for their time. So I think it's definitely something in the family line that says, you know, you've got to go further and show people who Jesus is. Jay Baker does it by using rock and roll and a soft sell approach to religion. When he's not leading Bible study, he books concerts at the halfway house. You know, I saw a guy who had a gun tattooed right here. Unlike his parents in the 80s, he's not after a mass audience. I'm really proud of him. Uh, he, he's a great son. In fact, Revolution parallels a ministry his father is developing in the Florida Panhandle. Jim Baker now leads Camp of Hope, a low-key rural refuge for the spiritually talented. My son today, I really believe, is better off than if he would have, if nothing would have happened to us. If we would have lived through this life and the heritage would have gotten bigger and bigger and he would have been the heir apparent to whatever and, and all, I think he could have ended up being, uh, you know, just a spoiled son with privilege. And now his heart is with hurting people and, and, and I'm proud of him today. I challenge you, don't take Christianity for vase value all the time. I did that for like almost 18 years of my life and it got me nowhere fast. The and street preacher seated in the shadows ends his weekly Bible study with traditional prayer and the approval of a not-so-traditional church congregation. In Jesus' name, amen. It's done a lot of good. It's really elevated my belief in Jesus, really. It's not about us, it's about him. Jay Baker says the messenger isn't relevant. Neither is his family history. That's all I can do is present the gospel to them the way I know how to, and what they do with it is up to them. Jay Baker didn't slip easily into the ministry, 
While his father was in jail, he abused drugs like LSD, drank a whole lot of booze, and he says tried to wreck his life. Some family friends intervened, and eventually a street ministry was born. By the way, they meet Tuesday nights at Safe House on Ellis Street. It's got I quite a following, that. yeah. Yeah. Do the uh, ministries of Jim and Jay Baker ever interact? Well, Jim Baker's trying to expand his Camp of Hope uh, down in Florida so that he can take referrals from uh, Jay Baker up here in Atlanta and uh, try to take a lot of numbers of them, he says. All right. We'll see what happens. Thank you very much, Doug. Doug, thanks. New at 10 tonight, a long-awaited honor is bestowed.